Well, it's Saturday morning and I uh, decided that uh, it's finally time to bleed my brakes on my 78 Corvette using my pressure bleeder from Motive Products. Uh, I thought I'd show the setup, my new uh, brake calipers that I installed from Vet Brake Products with the O-ring seals and powder coated black. I made another video about it already describing uh, what I was going to be doing to my car here. So let's start by just uh, going around the car and showing you the new calipers that I've installed. This is the front right caliper. All installed. Really look nice. And hopefully that's going to solve all my leaking issues that I've had over the years. You can see the uh, black powder coat finish. They've also installed stainless steel bleeders. And I already had new brake hoses on the car so I didn't replace them. I cleaned up all the hardware. Everything's got anti-seize on it, including the bleeders, because a lot of times they'll freeze. You try to um, bleed your brakes in the future and break off the bleeder in the ca uh, caliper, which is a big mess. I've also installed new ceramic pads all the way around. This is, I think, one of the older pins, actually, that I had. But I had a couple of new pins that I installed. So that's the front right. And here's the right rear, all installed, same situation. On the back bleeders, you actually have two bleeders, one out here by the wheel and one over inside by the axle. And of course the fluid comes in back here on the back. Also installed new trailing arm brake tubes, come up front here, installed there. My other ones are kind of rusted. And then several years back, I already put new brake hoses on it because they were kind of clammed up and caused my brakes to drag. So basically, I got a whole new system here. And they also install a plug here, a stainless steel plug. And there again, I've removed them all and put anti-seize on all, all that, all the bleeders and on all the hardware. It makes it a lot easier in the future if you ever need to take them off. They're subject to a lot of water and they tend to rust in place. You can find yourself breaking off hardware and it makes it really a mess. This is the left rear. Same situation, of course. New brake tube, new bleeders. Really like that black powder coat. And on my wheels that I'm using, you can always see those calipers and a big rusted mess in there. So I think that's gonna improve the looks of it. Okay, and then one last one. Left front, really the same situation. Not really much of anything different. Just the same thing all the way around. Okay, now, got my pressure bleeder installed and I've actually already bled the whole system out but I was gonna demonstrate bleeding the right rear uh, caliper just for the sake of this video. One of my other videos I talked about installing the adapter for the master cylinder and then I also use a block of wood and this big C-clamp here to help seal it. And uh, all you need is just a little pressure there in the middle. The way these things are designed here, when you pull down these nuts here, it tends to bow up this uh, adapter here in the middle and you get some leaks and you can't never build a pressure. Kind of a, a goof on the manufacturer's part. I guess if you're real gentle and you don't crank them down too hard, you can get them to seal. But I just go ahead and add that block of wood and that C-clamp on there. It does really great. I'm going to be pushing about two quarts of fluid through this today. I'm trying to push out all the old fluid and start fresh with all new fluid. And so I fill the master cylinder, I put on my adapter, and then I put about a quart and a half of fluid in the tank here. I'm not sure if you can see what the level is, but there's still some in there. You can actually hear it. And I got the pressure up about six psi. And I don't generally use more than about 10 to 15 PSI, but you can pump this thing up some more if you like. You see the pressure came up a bit. Doesn't really take a lot. And I got the tank tilted here, and there's reason for that. I've got the fluid inside the tank, and the dip tube that picks up the fluid is here on this side. So if you tilt it towards that, 
you'll always have fluid that replenishes the cylinder as you bleed the brakes out and you don't have a risk of getting air back in the system again. So that's the basic setup for the pressure bleeder. Let's go around this way, I'll show you another shot. There you can see the setup uh, maybe a little better. You can see the J-hooks and the chains that go around the master cylinder and the adapter on top and then uh, simply got the big C-clamp with just a little pressure in the middle there to help seal it. And there's the tank. You can see the pressure there. And as you bleed the brakes, the pressure is going to drop off and then you can always come back and give it a couple more pumps and then make sure that your reservoir doesn't run out of fluid or your tank. Your tank runs out of fluid, you run a risk of blowing air back in the system. And I'm putting way more fluid in it than I need to actually bleed them. I'm just trying to push some of the old fluid out. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate the, the right rear here, which is the furthest point from the master cylinder, which is where I start bleeding my brakes. And just demonstrate it. You're not going to see a lot of air come out because I've already bled the brakes out. Bear with me here while I put my camera on my handy tripod. And this car here is kind of a pain to, to get your bleeder tool actually on the um, bleeders. Uh, this one up front here is not that big of a deal, but in the back here kind of poses a little bit of a problem getting it on. So uh, mine happened to be 5 16 and I use 5 16 box in it wrench. And put it on like so. I use a clear piece of tube so you can actually see the air and the fluid come out. And this prevents uh, you from getting brake fluid all over your new linings and all over your brake rotors. And I can just hold it out like so into a pan and bleed them out. And I'm going to demonstrate how they bleed out when I open this bleeder. You start to see the fluid coming out through the tube. And the clear tube is handy. Like I said, you can see any air that might be coming out. And I've already bled these brakes, so you don't see much, but you can actually see it and feel it in the tube as the air is expelled from the calipers. You can see it's clear with no air. And you just tighten the bleeder back up, carefully remove the hose. Wipe off any residual. And you can proceed to the next one. I'll go ahead and do the, the other one just to show it. I usually start here at the right rear on the outside and then work my way to the inside. Here you pretty much have to use the open end of the wrench because it's such a pain to get on it. Once you get it loosened you can just turn it by hand. You can see the fluid come out. There's a teeny weeny little air bubble there you can see. This one here is just a trickle. You can see there's there's no air in the system. So I just bring it back down and tighten up the bleeder. Remove the hose. Wipe off any residual. And that's pretty much it to bleeding the brakes with one of those pressure bleeders. That is a really a nice piece of equipment. It's a one-man operation. You don't need anybody pushing the brake pedal while you are doing the bleeding. And it's a surefire way to get all the air out of the system. So that concludes this video about the brake calipers, installation, and the brake bleeding using the pressure bleeder. Thanks for watching.